Hi guys, Coach Uttar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. And in this video, we will talk about control flow. Well, if you have done a bit of programming, then you should be already familiar with what I am talking about. You have if else, it is just the same way that we typically write, that is if some boolean expression and if it evaluates to true, then you basically execute whatever that is there in the first block and if the boolean expression evaluates to false, then you execute whatever that is there in the second block. But other than this very traditional way of writing if else, Kotlin gives you a possibility of writing it as a evaluating expression that returns something. We will have a look at that bit later but let's continue. So other than if else you have a switch but in Kotlin we don't have switch instead of switch what we have is when. Once again we will have a look at that a bit later and finally the loops and once again the usual suspects are for loop, while loop and do while loop. So enough of theory let's do some hands-on coding. So this is the IntelliJ IDE. Let me create another package, new package, com.demo.say control flows. And inside the control flows, let me create a file called as control flow demo.kt. That is the extension. And here I will be writing a function main. Let me write a very simple if else statement. Let me declare variable which is called as maximum number which is of type int and I don't want to initialize it. So let me make it nullable and let me make uh, another variable. Let me make it val num1 is equal to 10 and val num2 is equal to 20 and I want to basically find out which one is the maximum among these two numbers and assign it to the maximum number. So this is how we write it and after that let me print the maximum number. You can write like this which you have already seen. The other way is you can simply write like this also. This is also a perfect legal string interpolation and now let me run this. This is perfectly normal. 20 is the maximum number and if I just change it and once again execute it, 50 is the maximum number. So this is something that you are already familiar with. But as I told you, Kotlin gives you another option of writing if else. So how do I do that? So what I can do is declare this max number here and then directly write if num1 is bigger than num2 then return basically num1 and else num2. This is perfectly legal in Kotlin and now if I run this, I should still get the output as 50. But if you are using if else as a statement that needs to return a value, then you have to make sure that you always write the else part. You cannot just write if. This will give a compilation error. However, if you were writing it in traditional sense, that is in this way, then you could have completely ignored the yell spot that is perfectly fine so just make sure that if at all you are using if else statement which returns a value you always use else part otherwise it will give you compile time error so this is about if else in kotlin now what we will do is we will have a look at switch but in kotlin we don't have switch we have this thing called as when so how do i use when let me declare a variable called as say planet position and make it one and then when planet position is one you can simply say through our mercury and i can just repeat this let me make it if this is zero you must be joking so let me go ahead and write for all the conditions so no surprises here and else you can write say I am not sure what you are and that's it. So let me declare a message which is of type string and then I will just assign message here and then print the message and you can see that we are getting the right value here. Let me run it once again. So this is how you write switch statement 
instead of switch you call it as when another advantage is instead of writing message equals to all these individual statements i could have just written that here and remove this part you saw this feature even in if else in the same way in kotlin a switch block can also return a value and this is perfectly fine and if i run this i still get the same output and what if you want to combine multiple options in one single go even that is possible for zero i am going to say you must be joking and for all one two four two three four i will say you are inside inner solar system and for anything more than four say five six seven and eight i am going to say you are in outer solar system now let me run this so it will give three that is you are inside the inner solar system and if i make it say six it is going to give me outer solar system so there is no typical fall through that you have seen in the switch that is available here you can write it like this there is another way you could have written it that is you could have used range operator that is instead of writing one two three four i could have written in one two four so you are basically saying that the planet position is in the range of one to four and here also i could have used the same mechanism that is in the range of five to eight this is also perfectly fine and it will also give me the same result you might be little bit unfamiliar with this in keyword we will be studying this later as a part of kotlin range and progression but you basically get the idea in kotlin these literals need not even be constants they can even be expressions we will see that and bit more in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye